Hey guys, it's Hypetrain here. This video is another one of my series where I round up all the fighting game news for a month. This video is all the news from the month of January 2023. I'll include articles in the description below where you can read up more on all the news I mentioned in this video. So with that said, let's jump right into it. This is going to be the most exciting news from playing games for me. So there's an event called Grand Blue Fantasy FES 2022 to 2023 on January 21st, 2023. The event is a festival in Japan celebrating the whole Grand Blue franchise. At this event, Side Games announced that there will be a brand new version of Grand Blue Fantasy vs coming out this year. Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising is going to be a separate game. But with a lot of big updates that I think many fans of the original Grand Blue Fantasy Versus are going to love. Rising will be for PS4, PS5, and PC. First of all, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising will have rollback netcode and crossplay. The game had to be remade from the ground up for the rollback netcode to work. The game will also have an updated roster. There will be new characters, but who these new characters will be is currently unknown. There will be an announcement on the new characters at Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Psy Games Cup Special at February 25th, 2023. Rising will have every character from the original Grand Blue Fantasy vs. There will be new stages, new moves, and new gameplay mechanics. There is a new story mode, and you can actually transfer your story mode save from the original Grand Blue Fantasy vs. into Rising. There is going to also be updated lobbies with more features, as well as a Fall Guys type minigame called Grand Bruce Legends. This is the announcement I've been waiting for and more. I absolutely love the original Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, and I think it's tragic that the game released with delay based netcode during the pandemic. Those circumstances really destroyed a lot of the interest and momentum that Grand Blue Fantasy Versus had on release. I thought that they were just going to do a rollback update for the original Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and call it a day, but a new version of the game with a rollback and new characters and more features is insane to me. I do think that this game really deserves a second chance and should be relaunched, but at the same time I do hope that there will be a discount for those who purchased the original game. There's no release date yet, but I suspect that the release will be around late summer to early fall 2023. I think that will be the best time frame, as the first half of 2023 is already stacked with big titles already, especially with Street Fighter 6 releasing in June. I can't wait for more information to be revealed, and I really want to know who the new characters will be. This is going to be a big title in the fighting game genre, and I plan on going real hard when Rising releases later this year. In addition to the announcement of Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising, a fan made mod for the original Grand Blue Fantasy vs just released called the Chaos Mod. The Chaos Mod is a gameplay overhaul mod that makes the original Grand Blue Fantasy vs more of an anime fighting game with air dashing, air combos, and roaming cancels. There's a trailer showing off some of the new gameplay additions and combos you can do. It'll be interesting to see the direction of this mod with a recent announcement of Rising, and I do wonder if the Grand Blue Fantasy vs community will pick up this mod more and maybe do some tournaments of the mod. I'll include a link to the Discord server for the Grand Blue Fantasy vs Chaos mod, where you can read up on all the exact gameplay changes, as well as download the needed files for the mod. Guilty Gear x had an update on January 20th, 2023 that adds rollback netcode. Guilty Gear x is the last Guilty Gear game that came out before Guilty Gear Strive. The game came out all the way in 2014 for the PS4, PS3, and PC. Guilty Gear Exert 
has very different gameplay from Strive, with quite a few loyal fans who say it's their favorite Guilty Gear game and that they prefer it over Strive. I played Guilty Gear Excerpt a lot back in the days and I would say it's one of my favorite anime fighting games. So it's good, good to me that a rollback update has released for the game and it seems to be bringing players back to the game as the theme card so about 500 to 600 consistent players for the past few days. Hopefully this update is successful in making more people interested in playing Exert again. King of Fires 15 has had a major patch update that released on January 17th, 2023. This is a huge patch that includes changes for all characters in the game. There's a lot of changes for this patch for me to go over everything, so I'll include a link that will go over all the changes in detail. There's also a video from SNK that goes over all the changes as well. This major patch coincides with the release of the new character Shingo Yabuki. I myself don't play King of Fighters 15, but I will wait to see if the future planned updates do fix the matchmaking issues before I start playing the game. But I do see the support on the game with all the game updates and I respect SNK for that. Guilty Gear Strive will have another open beta test on February 3rd to February 6th, 2023. This beta test is to test the crossplay specifically for the Xbox versions of Strive that will release later this year. Crossplay did release earlier for Strive, but it's currently only available to PC and, and PlayStation versions of the game. The beta test will have its own application that is separate from the main game. I'm glad to see more updates coming to Strive and that Strive is coming to more platforms as well. I am most likely going to start playing Strive again later this year as I plan on playing more fighting games in general around the time of the Street Fighter 6 release. So there you have it, that's all the current fighting game news I have so far for the month of January 2023. If you liked this video and want to keep up on all the news on the latest fighting games, be sure to click on the like and subscribe button. It helps out my channel and it helps me put out more content such as this video. Once again, my name is Hai Ching, I'm signing out, and I'll see you next time.